Alright, Shalom. All praises unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahusha, Bashim Rakakadash. Double and unto the other apostles of Great Millstone, the others of Dan Salvation. So, Lord, you sincere Akim out there, pushing the name of Yahweh, Bashim Yahusha, okay, preaching the gospel of repentance unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which are you so called Negroes, Latinos, uh, Native Americans, your descendants who have been scattered among all these different nations uh, in these last days. Uh, the whole fully elect, uh, the, the Bakarium, uh, in all actuality, the ones who are going to take heed unto the warning. From, from the servants of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshua, out there in the houses and hedges, so I, for the preaching of, of the gospel of, of repentance, okay, unto, unto the twelve tribes. As the scripture says that in Mark, okay, for the, from the beginning of the gospel of, 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 of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Shah, he kept on saying, Look, uh, repent ye, repent ye. Let's get that in the book of Mark. Uh, that's the main reason why we're out here on, on the houses and hedges, okay, before the great dreadful day of the Lord, or right, before it comes to pass. Uh, we must give you the warning, all right? Whether you listen or you don't listen, the word must go up. All right? That's part of the good promises of Yahweh, that's part of the grace that's been shown right now, okay? The preaching of repentance unto the 12 tribes, uh, the, the, the whole for the elect, all right? These are the ones who, who are going to truly uh, immerse themselves under the spirit of the Lord, okay? In spirit and truth and sincerity in these last days, all right? Because the rest, they, they've been blinded, they cannot receive the truth, all right? Because they love this world, Therefore, they're going to be destroyed alongside okay, the nations who, who have been appointed unto destruction. Right? They're going to have to come back. You're going to have to come back in your right mind. Those who rebel against the light of Yahweh Shinosha, those who are still resi resisting the spirit of the Lord, you're going to have to come back okay, in the reincarnation or right? in your right mind with, with everlasting shame and contempt. The scripture says that in the book of Daniel, the 12th chapter. Right? If you're not uh, shining, if you're not part of those who, who, who are turning many to righteousness, or the elect, which are the main which have been, been turned to the righteousness, guess what? You're part of those, okay, who are lost, who are still covered by, by gross darkness, okay? The philosophies of this world, which is opposite to the scriptures, to the word of the Lord, all right? Let's get this a book of Mark, chapter 1. Uh, this, uh, this is a Mark, chapter 1, verse, uh, sort of verse 14, says, now after John was put in, in prison, Yahweh Shah came to Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of, of Yahweh. But he was not preaching his own, okay, his, his own doctrine. He never came to do his own will. But he came to what? To do the will of the Father. Okay, when you go to the book of Proverbs, okay, uh, 8 chapter, verse, verse uh, 22, I believe, starting from verse 20, where it tells you that, look man, the sole purpose of Yahweh, of, uh, Yahweh Shah, the Lord and Savior, it, it was for, so that the Most High Yahweh could be magnified in him. Okay. That's who the Most High deals with right there. He's only begotten Son. Okay, that's that's one who's calling all the shots. The Most High is, is behind the scene, all right, directing. Okay, the show. Yahusha is is behind the implementation. Okay, of, of instructing. Okay, the will of the Father to be being executed. All right, he's the mediator. Okay, show the Lord power to with nothing. All right. He has a son. He is a king. Okay, he, he doesn't do anything. But he's what he's controlling every single thing that hap that's happening around. Him. Okay, he's the he's what he's the ultimate power. All right. This is our Mark chapter one verse fourteen says, and after John was put into, in prison, Yahweh Shai came into Galilee preaching the gospel of the, of, uh, of the Messiah Yahweh, saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. And the gospel is just not it's not talking about this this nonsense music that have been playing around the radio. All right, that's not the gospel. Well, that's not the good news. Okay, that's not the good tidings. Okay, the actual good news. Okay, it is. It is. It is, it is so to you, to you, uh, the twelve tribes, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, knowing that. Look, our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai is, is is on his way. Uh, the end of us being being subject and under under these nations is all going to come to an end. Okay, that's part of the gospel. The part of the good news. Okay, that's supposed to put smile upon your faces, knowing that the Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai is on his way. Okay. The preaching of, the, of, of repentance is now. Okay, repent ye, repent ye, and believe the gospel. Believe the good news. Okay, don't, don't believe, say, you know what, I believe only half the, half of the Bible. No. It's either you believe in the word or you just don't believe. All right? you, you cannot afford to be lukewarm. It's either you, gotta, you are gathering with Yahweh Shah or you're just against Yahweh Shah. All right? No man, can, choose, no man can, can, can serve two masters. All right? And it's going to be made manifest as, as, as it has already been, been happening right now. Right? Those who truly serve Yahweh, they have been revealed. And those who, who are just in pretense, okay, acting as if they're okay, acting as if they're brothers, but they are not. They've been revealed. 
by the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashim Yahushai. And alongside all these different false prophets, okay, we're gonna declaring unto you the whole gospel of Yahweh Hashim Yahushai, the whole counsel, okay, the whole intent of the Heavenly Father upon this place. All right, speaking unto you the smooth things, uh, and the smooth things which they're preaching unto you, the lies, the deception, they're gonna get all of you, every single last one of you who are, who are, who are listening to them, they're gonna cause your salvation. Okay, all right. they're gonna cost your own salvation. That's gonna be your own downfall. Okay, for taking you to these seducing spirits. All right, teaching that the Lord loves everybody. All nations can make it. All right. If you teach, still teaching that nonsense, the monster is gonna destroy you. All right, the odds are you you're, you've already sealed your own destruction. All right. This um says um Mark. 1 and 15 says and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of heaven is at hand repent ye and believe the gospel because we don't we don't have much time right now all right we don't have much time it's all about repenting right now we don't have much we don't have much time all right as the uh the apostles have uh uh, uh titled this 2019 the year of the year of 2019 the year of karagma all right and, and that's part of the major major prophecy right there the implementation of the rfid chip the mark of the beast spoken of in the book of revelation all right, 13, 14. All right. These are very serious times that we're living in right now. All right. That mark of the beast being the RFID chip. All right. The NFC technology, okay, that biochip. You're not supposed to take it. All right. Even among these false prophets who are out there, or okay, who are speaking the smooth things, all right. they say they don't believe uh, that, that the mark of the beast is the RFID chip. Guess what? They're not even telling you this, not even take it. That is against the laws of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua for you to have anything inserted on your skin, any foreign object to be inserted in your skin. Brothers, should should I uh, should warn you right there that these guys are false prophets. Why why are they not speaking about the mark of the beast, which is major part of the major prophecy in these last days? Why? Right? Because Yahweh Hashem Yahshua is not dealing with them. The spirit of the Lord is not upon them. Uh, it's not upon them. They're not preaching the acceptable gear. Okay, of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah. All right. Where all nations are going to be put in subjection, when all these nations are going to be put to their place, right there where they belong. All right? Because these nations they've been behaving strangely. Okay, they've, they've been behaving themselves strangely around on us. That's why we still we are yet to stay in our captivity as Israelites. We so-called Negroes, Latinos, uh, Native Americans, and your descendants who are amongst these nations. All right? As a spirit is bearing witness. All right? They've been behaving themselves strangely upon, upon us, these nations. So how, how the hell can you think these nations are going to be exempt from judgment? It's not going to happen like that. Yahweh Hashem Look, man, judgment is reserved, all right? Judgment is reserved unto these nations, all right? And that's where the problem pro, uh, problem uh, ultimately arises. All right? For you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, a great majority of you, just because you, you see that nothing is like, seems like nothing is happening, all right? Because your expectations and your will Okay, they're not in line, okay, with the, with the timeline of Yahweh Hashim Yahshah. Okay, you're hasting above the most high, the highest Yahweh Hashim Yahshah. Just like the, uh, the angel Uriel in 2nd Edwards, uh, I believe the 66, uh, 6, is it? All right. When it says, look man, what, what do you haste above, above the most high? All right. You, want, you think you want to understand the things are in he of heaven, of Yahweh Hashim Yahshah, but you can't, you can't even comprehend the things that, in front, that are in front of, in front of you? Uh, and the things which are found of us right now, that like these false prophets, they can't even understand, can't even grasp. The, the simple thing, all right? the mark of the beast being, being the RFID chip, they can't even grasp those things. All right? And somehow you think these guys are so deep, but that's not the case, man. These guys are shallow. Okay, they have not gone through the gaps. Uh, this, is a Jerem, this is Isaiah chapter 31. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 31, verse. Uh, I'm sorry, verse 9 says, no, verse 8, Jeremiah, this Isaiah chapter 31, verse uh, 8 says, Now, it says, Now go, write it, write it before them in the tab in a table, and note it in the book, that that it may be for the time to come, forever and forever, that this is a rebellious uh, people, lying children, children that will not hear the, way, the, the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophets are not says prophets are not unto us right things, but speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceit. Okay, there's the same mentality. Even you, a lot of these guys who call it, who know that they Israelites, are uh, 
this is the same mentality and the spirit the spirit which they come in okay they want they still want to, they still want deception and lies okay that's what they've been used to okay they're no different from 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 from, uh, from these pagan paganistic uh heathens so-called christians they're no different from them uh because they still want to hear smooth things nice things okay all about building a family building a society there's nothing to be built in this place all right there shall be nothing left of this place all, right. all of it is going to be thrown down okay at the second return of the hour shot okay we're living in a season of war the time of order that's what we're living in so what the hell do you think you're going to build in this society all right what the hell are you going to build in this society in this, in this pathetic society there's nothing to be built all right the only thing that's being built right now is the tabernacle of the house of david okay the bayaf tawata that's the only building that's happening okay that, and the building that's approved of yabash and Asha. The rest is going to be taken down, okay? If the Mosad does not build a house, those who build that house, they build all in vain. Okay, and that's what we've been seeing happening time and time and time and again. Okay, all these kingdoms, okay, they've been all been taken down time and time and time and again. The same thing is going to happen with this current society. It's all going to be thrown down. All of it is going to be taken down. All right? All right, let's get that in Second Peter's. All right, is so Second Peter's. Because this place is gone, all right. It's not going to be preserved. It's not going to go continue any longer, all right. It's a sec First Peter chapter four uh, and seven. All right. It says First Peter chapter four verse uh, verse seven it says, "But the end of all things that is at end is at at hand. Be therefore sober and watch unto prayer." All right. The end of all things at hand. Okay. Of all. Okay. Wickedness. Okay, of all folly that's been happening time and time and continuously again, the end of all of that folly, okay, being set in great dignity, all of it is at, a, at, a, at, a, at, a, at, a, at an end, okay? So you must believe the gospel, the truth, all right? Know who your power is, Yahweh, okay, Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, you gotta know the names of the Father and the Son, okay, that's where it all starts. Okay, how can you call to the, to the Most High and things are gonna save you, but you don't, you, you don't even know His name? Okay, you don't even acknowledge his name, the true names of the Father and the Son, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. Alright. So you must come out, out of that mentality that lost uh, that's lost uh, uh, vagabond spirit. Okay? And it's only gonna happen unto the left of the Lord. The rest have been blinded, okay, for effect. Okay, the Lord has in, has uh, has planned gruesome okay ordeals for the masses. Alright. He's the one that kills and makes it alive. And the Lord are gonna be killed by the Lord. Pretty soon, okay. A lot are going to be put to death by famine, okay, by race wars, okay, by different pestilences, different diseases. Because this, this is the time that we're living in, okay. The warning has been has been issued out continuously, but people are still not taking need unto the warning, all right. Because because what they became vain, uh, they became they, they all became vain, okay, in their minds for not glorifying the heart of Shinosha. Okay, but 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 chose rather that the things which the most are uh, was not pleased in. Okay, they chose to go the wrong way, and they're gonna have to pay for their lives for doing such. Okay, because the judgment of Yahweh Bashimasha will begin at the house of the Lord. All right. So it says First Peter chapter four verse seven says, "But the end of all things at hand." It says, "Be therefore sober and watch unto prayer continuously." All right, you can't do this work, you know, whenever you feel like it, but you must glorify the Lord continuously. All right, that's the sole purpose while we're here. All right, please ask you the 12th, the 12th chapter, beginning from the verse, first verse. All these God you, you nations, the Most is going to destroy every single last one of you. All right, we're going to see. Oh, uh, okay. We'll love, I would love to see you smiling when that when when the one family comes in. All, right, all these God we we love to see all of that. All right. All, hey, but it's, it's all fine. All right, rejoice and be glad. Right, just like the Most says that you know in our. Uh, the book of Lamentation, the Lord says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Alongside all you nations, you Hamites, okay, you Ishmaelites, all you nations, rejoice and be glad. All right? Because once Yahweh Shah appears, okay, in the skies, all right, on chariots, all right, the so called UFOs forces, you know them, alongside with the hosts of heaven, that's going to be the end of the smiles upon your faces until a thousand years be completed. All right? So you better enjoy yourselves. All right? Mock all you, all you want. All right? But the word of Yahweh Hashem will never return unto him void. But he will always accomplish 
whatsoever he wills. All right. That's so it's supposed to show him in how vain these nations are. Yeah. They never loved us, these nations. That's why your heart, Hashem is going to destroy you, nations, man. Okay, we're going to have you bound up in chains. All right. With feathers of iron. Very soon. But it's fine. Okay. You draw us and be glad. All right. It's that Second Peter chapter three. Okay, verse seven, going to the, the end. Okay, of all things that is that has been at hand. Okay, what is that end? Okay, that is it. That is at, uh, at hand. The end of all things. The end of all things of which which is which is of this world. As the scriptures warns that as the scriptures do say that look, man, love not the world, as yon. Uh, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Okay, and part of the, the society, things that we, that we grew up being taught. Okay, it's all about lies, deceptions, damnable heresies, okay? All made up fairy, uh, fairy tale uh, stories that, that we've been taught. And all of those have been what? They've been, all, they've been, uh, they, they, they've been strongholds that, that have been taken down by, by the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bar Shemel Shah. Okay, through, his, through humble uh, men, okay, through his verses, okay, he served as the prophets. All right, this is Second Peter's. Uh, chapter 3 verse uh, 7 says but the heavens and the earth which are not by the way the, uh, by the same way the kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men all right this place has been reserved unto what unto fire and that fire is going to come by the, by the way of intercontinental ballistic missiles that's how the end is going to come all right the end of all things is at hand the end is made it's been made manifest okay it is speaking right now Habakkuk all right let's get Habakkuk uh, before I go, come back in uh, Second Peter three and seven. Uh, this is a Habakkuk. Uh, this is a book of Habakkuk, chapter two, verse one says, "I will stand upon my watch, and set me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he uh, will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I'm reproved." All right. It says, it says, and the Lord answered me and said, and said, uh, and said, write, write the vision, and uh, and and make it plain upon the tables that he may run that readeth it. It says the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end I shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, for it shall surely come. I uh, it will not tarry. Okay, although all these prophets are all speaking right now. Alright. Rumors of all Yahweh spoke of spoke all spoke of some of these signs. Part of the majority of these signs in Matthew are uh, twenty-four. Uh, cause because the disciples were inquiring at the Lord. So look, man, we wanna know where you wanna come since you're leaving. Alright. Uh, since you're gonna be absent from us. So how, how, how are you going to be able to see that you're returning? Uh, and these signs have been happening more and more frequently. Okay, diverse earthquakes. Okay. Look, man. These, this is the time of the end right now. Okay. This is the time of the end. Believe ye the gospel and repent. All uh, right. Let the wicked forsake his way. All uh, right. The wicked being what? Okay. Out of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel was the wicked. Okay, which is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man cannot repent. Okay, there's no space of repentance for him. Okay, so it's impossible for him to, 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 uh, to repent. Okay, it's not applying to Esau, that scripture has nothing to do with Esau. Okay, when it says, but, but let the wicked forsake his way. Okay, and, and uh, the, un the unrighteous is, is uh, his thoughts. It's, it's referring to the Israelites. Alright. None of the wicked shall understand. So how can Esau possibly repent? Okay. Can an Ethiopian change his skin? Okay. Or leopard the spot? So, my, so may they, those who are accustomed to do evil, okay, do good. It's not going to happen. Okay, it's not going to happen. The most I've sent up the bounds of the people. Okay. All nations are what? Are inherently unique from one another. The same thing with Esau. Okay, he's the opposite of righteousness. So it cannot be that Esau can, can, uh, can ever repent. It's not going to happen. All right, stop trying to save your, your main enemy. All right, Ecclesiastes 25 says, nothing better for a man to live to see the downfall of his enemy. All right, and we have an, the main ultimate enemy, okay, of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel ruling over us. Okay, which is Esau, Edom, so called white men. Okay, beginning of the elite banking families. Okay, the Oppenheimers, the Rothschilds. Okay, the Illuminatis, okay, of this world. All right, these are our enemies. All right. Because they are enemy unto us and unto unto our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright. Says uh says uh, Second Peter chapter three verse uh, 
7 says, but the, but, but the heavens and the earth, which are now the same, uh, by the same way that kept in store, preserved unto fire against the judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Okay, that's what's going to happen right now. Okay, since the days of the fathers, people think, still have that mentality. Things have continued as they were. But that's, that's far from the truth right there. It is way, way too far from the truth. Things have not continued as they were. Uh, let's get Isaiah 9. All right. This fire, this, fire, this fire that the world has been preserved unto. Okay, let's get Isaiah 9. All right. Because there's, there's, there's no peace coming from this place. Okay. The world is going to be destroyed by fire. Okay. Mainly Babylon, that's the only place that the most I said, look, this place, I'm going to destroy all of it. Okay. Isaiah 13 and uh, 5, I believe. Okay, speaking about these messes, they come from a far place. Okay, even the laws, the, the weapons, the laws, uh, the weapons of the laws are um, slack here. Let's get that in Isaiah 13 and 5. Says, they come from a far country, from the end of, of heaven. Even the Lord, okay, Yahweh Shai, and the weapons of his, Yahweh Parshim Shai, and the weapons of his, of, uh, of his indignation to destroy the whole land. The whole land is going to be destroyed as well as America, Babylon, the great, okay, that great city. Okay, wherein, wherein our Lord was crucified, where the saints, the blood of the saints have been shed in that place. Okay, because too much blood shed has, has, hey, has been shed there. All right, just like when the scriptures makes reference to, 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 to the Messiah shall destroy. Okay, just like Sodom, Sodom in, uh, in Gomorrah, it is just like it, just like Sodom and Gomorrah, because that's the only place, the, the kind of destruction that's going to come. That can only be compared to what the Moses is going to do to, to, to Babylon the Great. Okay. Because it has done far west than Sodom and Gomorrah and the far surrounding cities have done. Okay. Because Esau excels in wickedness. Okay. What these Sodomites, these original Sodomites, these, these Hamites, what they did, okay, in Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, Agma, or uh, these other, uh, these five cities around about, what they did, Esau, uh, Hey Amen. He topped all of that, man. He, he, he went further than just, just uh, allowing homosexuals, homo homos, okay, these transgender. Yeah, they, weren't, they weren't even transgenders back then. Uh, we might have had, we had us, there have been some, uh, some cross dresses, that's it. But Esau have went way too far. Okay. He excels in wickedness. Then in the 12th chapter says, then that, that wicked shall do wickedly. Okay. We've been seeing, seeing that happening constantly. Okay. He allowed, okay, in finance, okay. Okay, allowing okay men to go out there to, to, to change his gender. Okay, because he's the wicked that the Bible speaks of. Okay, he's doing wickedly. All right, this is Isaiah chapter nine. All right, verse uh, five says, "For the every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments robe in blood, but this shall be uh, with fire and fuel of fire." So, like Isaiah nine and five says, "For the every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be the burning." Uh, with burning and fuel of fire, all right? This, they're not going to be using uh, these old tactics, okay? Shield, uh, with shields, actual shields and helmets, okay? And swords, no. This one's going to be with burning and fuel of fire, okay? Fire not, not kindled. That's what's coming, all right? These mighty arrows so, uh, shot of, of a mighty archer. That's how this place is going to go down. These missiles, okay? That shows you what the, the escalating violence, okay, over time that's been happening because the Mosa, Yahweh, Shemasha, Exodus 15, all right, he's a man of war. All right, he's a man of war. As, as much as they get worse, guess what? The gruesome, as the society kept on all these different nations, all these different civilizations, so called civilizations, all right, there's nothing civilized about these different uh, empires that, that went before us. And the same thing with this one, and this is the worst of it, okay. They have never been nothing civilized about it. All of them, they've been getting worse and worse. That's why the most have been increasing judgment. All right. Every single time, whenever we got delivered, every single time the most have uh, exalt, got exalted, all these nations, the judgment kept getting worse and worse for these nations. So how much more now? This is the exclamation point. Okay, this is the end of the, of the chapter right now. Okay, this is the end of it. This, the same thing I read in the second Peter, the third chapter, the seventh, the seventh verse. Okay, it says the same world is kept in store, okay, unto fire. So just like the same wickedness when it all started and exploded, 
okay, when the Most High had to, uh, had to flood the, the earth, and the Most High said, look, man, my full purpose of intention to destroy all flesh, the same thing the Most High has in purpose right now, okay, to destroy, right? Because he is a man of war. A lot of you don't understand that. That Yahweh Bashmasha, he is a man of war. You don't have that understanding. You think the Most High cannot do good, not do evil. The Scripture speaks about that. Okay, but you don't know the Lord. You don't know Yahweh Bashmasha, and you, a lot of you are gonna start to realize how, how powerful Yahweh Bashmasha is. Okay, that he's worthy to be feared. All right, you're gonna realize uh, very soon. All right, just like the Most High destroyed ancient Egypt, uh, the ancient Egyptians. All right. They all drowned. He plagued them. Okay, these different aberrations. The same thing is going to happen, but on a higher, higher level. All of that's going to happen right now. Little do you know. Okay, now you know that the Most High is bringing death and destruction upon the face of the planet. Okay, that's what's coming right now. Little do you, 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 you lost the souls even know. Okay, because you've been taught that the Most High is all about love. Okay, the return of the Messiah is going to be pleasant. It's going to be far from being pleasant. Okay, when the Messiah returns, it's going to be far from being pleasant. There's going to be a whole lot of havoc, okay, happening. That's why we need a, a savior, all right? And his name is Yahweh Shai. He's going to save the elect, okay? Let's get that in uh, Matthew chapter 24. All right, and before the, before the saving comes, all right, tribulation must happen. All right, tribulation must come. Uh, this is uh, Matthew chapter 24. Uh, this is uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse, uh, verse 29. It says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give a light. And the stars, it says, And the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven sh shall be shaken. All right, when these missiles, when they're going to drop, they're going to uh, block out the sun. Yeah. The powers of, of that be of heaven, the heaven that is being right now, the rulership that we see today, they all want to be all in fear. All right, as it says, but they go, they shall, Jeremiah says, they shall call to their fellow, but none shall respond. All right, when they hear the message, that look, man, these, you, you got you got 20, 20 minutes, you got uh, 30 seconds, missiles are on their way. Get to the safest bunker. Guess what? That's going to come. All right, that's going to transpire in, into reality very soon. All right, it's going to happen with. Uh, within this generation all right it's all going to happen within this generation okay within this generation the lord has purposed all right just like he did in genesis 6 all right to destroy all flesh the most has purpose to bring judgment upon the face of the earth such as never been seen before all right such as never been seen before judgment are on, are on their way all right so matthew chapter 24 Verse, uh, uh, verse 30 says, uh, says and then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven and then shall the, all the tribes of the earth moan and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory they're going to all be moaning all right as they all been des des being, being destitute uh, as a lot of you you're still destitute of the truth right now all right so you're going to be much more in, in a more pitiful case then because you're still loathing the laws of Yahweh a space of repentance is open unto you still fucking scoffing so what, what, how do you think it's gonna how, 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 how actually do you possibly think that the Mosah is gonna save you in that day the Mosah knows all of them that sin against him and is gonna deliver all such unto the sword yeah the Mosah hates sinners all right he hates sinners if you if you if you do not know the Mosah hates sinners All right, because all these these uh, these nations, they're all going to be be moaning. All right, when famine hits, uh, in the midst of famine, grace rises. All right, then Yahweh Shai appears, and a lot of you dumb dumb uh, dumb dummies out here, you're going to be thinking that's a UFO. You're going to be be in, even in more shock when you see these chariots appearing in the sky, cracking those uh, th those are those clouds. You're going to be thinking those are UFOs, but those are angels of the Lord. Okay, alongside of the Lord and Savior, okay, you're gonna go in crazy in that day when the Lord appears, because you've never been warned and been told that the return of the Lord, how splendid it's gonna be. 
He would never told that the return of the Lord, all nations are going to be, they're going to be basically going to be peeing on themselves. They're going to be shitting on themselves. Okay, because it's going to be a, fe a fearful sight when the Lord appears. Okay, because you've been taught these green a aliens from Mars that lie. Okay, so when the, when the Messiah appears with the angels, you're going to be shocked. Okay, you're going to be further be more shocked. All right, man's heart failing because of the sign which they see uh, upon the earth. That's what's going to happen eventually. Okay, because you were never taught, you were never warned. Okay, even those of you who heard the warning coming out, you, you never took heed unto the warning. You scoffed at the service of the prophets of the Lord. So judgment is awaiting. Right? You, be, you best believe that judgment is awaiting upon the face of the earth. Okay. All right, it says, uh, and he shall send, Matthew chapter 24, verse 1, 31 says, And he shall send uh, his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven even to the other. Right? These are the only ones who want to receive okay, salvation. Those who are, going to, who are going to be found worthy to escape all these things at the return of, of Yahweh Shai. Okay, the elect. Okay, the Bakarium. Okay, the Bayaf Okay, the 144,000 servants. The prophets and servants of the Lord Yahweh Shai. All right, and the great multitude. Okay, women and children, the helps. Okay, of the Lord, our serv of the Lord's servants. These are the ones who are going to be granted mercy. Okay, these are the ones who are going to be granted mercy at the end of the day. Okay, the and, and all every single last one of the elect are going to be saved. They are all Israelites, by the way. Okay, they are all Israelites, by the way. Okay, despite what you, what, whatever nonsense you've been taught by these pastors in these, these holy houses. Okay, the only ones who want to see salvation, that whose salvation is for in the first place, are the Israelites. These are the ones who have been given, okay, the Most High, hey, the Most High is stretching forth out his hand still. All right, Isaiah 31, I believe, whom, whom ye have, uh, ye have rebelled against, return unto me. Let's get that in Isaiah. All right, because... Because once Yahweh Shah appears, okay, there, there won't be no time for you to come and try to come back to crawl back into the good, into the good graces of Yahweh Shah. All right, this is Isaiah chapter thirty-one, uh, verse uh, six says, "Turn ye unto him from whom the children of Israel have deeply revolted." All right, and this is referring to who? To the elect. All right, the elect are the ones who are gonna who are gonna who are gonna return unto Yahweh Shah, unto the rock wherein we, we have been hewn from. Right. We're going to remember ourselves in the land of our captivities right. and think upon the name of our power, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. And that has been happening constantly, time and time and again. This word is going out, man. Right. More, 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 more of, these, of, 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 of the lost sheep of the house of Israel will be scattered among these nations are waking up, All right. coming to the, to the remembrance of who they are. All right. Uh, this is like in Jeremiah, Isaiah chapter 31, verse 6 says, Ten ye unto whom uh, the children of Israel have deeply, revol deeply revolted. Because this, uh, this rebellion has been happening time and time and time and again, continuously. Uh, amongst all these different captivities that we went under, they kept them coming back and, and what? And uh, let's, let's get this, man. Let's get in the. Uh, uh, let's get this. The second address, chapter one. There's a second address, chapter one. Verse five. Second address, chapter one. Verse five says, uh, says, "Go uh, that way and show my people uh, their sinful deeds and their children uh, their wicked their wickedness, with uh, says which they have uh, done against me, that." That they may tell to their children's children the same thing we're rehearsing right now. Just, just like the Mosai said in the book of Joshua, that we should supposed to rehearse, okay, that how the Mosai is going to have war with Amalek and how at the end, okay, Esau is going to be eradicated, his remembrance is going to be blotted out. The same thing we must be doing right now to rehearsing, okay, what we have done unto our power, unto our power. How bad have we, have we been revolting against our power? The same thing we're telling you right now, okay. The same thing we tell you right now, return unto the Lord, okay? Return unto your help, and be healed and be converted and be healed, okay? 
the off of us, of the off and finish of our faith, Yahweh Shai, man. He, look, man, he has done all the sacrifices. It's about returning right now. Okay, through the mediator, who's the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. There's no other way around it. Okay, there's no, uh, there's no other way around it except going through the Lord and Savior, the mediator. Okay, because without him, there's, there's no hope. There's, there's, there's no any form of kind of salvation at all. All right. And a lot of people don't have that understanding. They think they think that they have everything covered by themselves, but they're going to be disappointed when judgment day comes in. Okay, and that judgment is going to happen upon the face of the earth. Oh, it's not going to happen in some dumps, some some fourth dimension, some place underneath the the, the, uh, the earth. No, it's going to happen upon the, the surface of the earth. All right, read Jeremiah 15. All right, that's where the judgment is going to happen. Ecclesiastes goes into the soul, uh, the place under the earth. Okay, and judgment was there. This is the place of judgment. Okay, this is the place of that ju of judgment. Well, this is the place of judgment that, that, that we're in right now. And judgment is going to be executed from one hand. Okay, a, div a, a, a heavenly divine inter okay, uh, judgment is going to happen. Okay, it's going to come from one high. Judgment will run down its waters. Uh, let's get that very quick. Because right. a lot of you are going to be shocked when, when finally judgment rains down from heaven. Uh, this is the Amos. Uh, this is how judgment is going to rain down very soon. Uh, and it's not going to be, be pleasant. <coughs> it's the Amos. <coughs> Amos chapter 5 uh, this, uh, instead of this, uh, Amos chapter 4 verse 12 says therefore thus saith, uh, says therefore thus will I do unto thee O Israel All right? and because I will do this unto thee prepare to me thy power O Israel you better be prepared All right? you better be prepared for the judgment that the Most High has declared Okay, unto all the sinners, those who rebel against him. Okay, the scripture says that in the book of Samuel, okay, to obey is better than sacrifice. It would, it would have been better for you to, to obey the word of the Lord that rather than you to, to accept, uh, to, to expect that you're going to offer a sacrifice unto the Lord. Okay, because the pleasing sacrifice right now unto the Lord is what is our lives, ourselves. We, we are living here to serve what? To, to serve the Lord. Okay, not to do our own will. So when that sacrifice is going to be, be required of you, it's going to be what? It's going to be your own life. Because when we're supposed to, to, to exalt the Lord as much as you can, you did not do that. But you chose things which were in the most high, took no delight in. Okay, you kept on hiding the talent of Yahweh, so that the most high is going to destroy every single last one of you in that day. Okay, gruesome judgment upon uh, on the way. So you better be prepared, be prepared to meet your power of Israel, of Jake. Yeah. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you better be prepared. Okay? You better be prepared. Okay? On all you dooms, doom, uh, doomsday preppers, look, man, it's not going to work out. Okay? You stocking up on food and water supplies, it's not going to work out. When Judgment Day comes in, all of that's going to be in vain. All right? All of that's going to be in vain. Your bank account is not going to save you in that day. Okay? You're not going to be exempt from the Day of the Lord because of your bank account, because of your car. Uh, because of your nice house, you're not going to be exempt from judgment when that day comes. All right? It's going to be about what your faith. All right? it's, you're going to be judged according to your faith and your works wherein you have, be, where, where you have believed. All right? That's how it's going, to, it's going to happen at the end of the day. That's how things are going to trickle down and boil down. Okay? And you're going to be all be in a pitiful case. In fact, let me, let, me, let, me, let me go up. This is Amos. This is Amos chapter 4, uh, instead of verse 10. Uh, it, says, uh, it says, I have sent among you the pestilences after the men of Egypt. Your young men have I slain with the sword, and I have taken away your horses, and I have made uh, the stink of your camps to come up upon your nostrils. Here it says, 
It says, yet have ye not, it says, yet have ye not returned unto me, saith the Lord. After all the uh, things uh, that you took how are we? How are you? I'm good, man. Um, can I please ask, uh, what what are you reading there? Are you are you reading the Quran or the no. Bible? Oh, it's the Bible, man. Oh, it's the Bible. Yeah. All right. So so, what is it exactly that you're doing? Okay, okay. I'm here to preach the gospel, of repentance unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. These are the same ones as the Messiah, our Holy mm. Second Return is going to come and save them. He's not going to come. He's not returning. But now, how do you know which tribe you're part of here? Yeah, because I I believe somehow we must all be descendants. Of these very tribes but how do you know how do you know okay the scripture speaks about the spirit bearing witness with our spirit that we are the sons of the most high mm. when you read the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 it tells you about that the different curses that are going to befall the Israelites at the end of the day now like things that are happening now the like the world right is busy now. ending now must the what give the world it's busy ending now yeah. natural and disasters uncurable sicknesses and and check like, your yeah, yeah, so okay. All right. Yo, Maka, do you know why we we video change, but I uh, what I'd like to know. I upload to the internet, my man. Alright. Alright, this is like I was saying, this is Amos. Alright. Look, man, you, some of you, some of you guys out there, you, you can you can make a puzzle. You can you, you see that there's something going on, but there's a problem. If the Mosa is not with you, okay, you're gonna keep on going around circles, and the Mosa is gonna end up destroying you. Alright, and every day you think that we're Muslim. No, we're not Muslim men. Okay, we're the Israelites preaching the gospel of repentance. Okay, unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, we're not Muslims. Okay, to help the Quran, we have nothing. Hey, the Most High, the God of the Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, he's not God. He's not God of uh, of Abraham and Ishmael and his sons. No, he's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, you how pass me shy. Anyway, Isaiah chapter four. Verse 10 says, I, says, I have set among you the pestilences after the men of Egypt. It says, Your young men have I, has, have I slain with the sword and have taken away uh, your horses and have made uh, the stink of the camps to come up uh, upon your nostrils. Yet have, says, Yet have they not turned unto me, saith the Lord, the harp of Shinosha. Because why? Because they are stiff necked and, and rebellious nation. Okay. Because they are stiff necked unto this very day. The most I plagued us as a nation. Okay. Sending souls after us. Uh, getting killed all the day long but still not turning on to Yahapashimasha not asking yourselves what the hell are we, why the hell are we, are we going through such 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 such, such, uh, such ordeals because we've been transgressing okay the law statute commandments of Yahapashimasha the most high deals with us as sons okay okay and we can see that sign for what for what has befallen us going through the, uh, the translating our slave trade uh, that, that shows you the gruesome judgment of the Lord it's been prophesied in the scriptures that's going to happen to us for us being being, 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 uh, being rebellious okay ended up being living in the lands of our, of our enemies all right and it, that is a shame right there that is a one heck of a shame okay and a lot of you don't even understand that okay you don't even understand that it is a shame to be not be among your own being scattered among these definitions that brings up what confusion okay that brings about confusion that's why the Tower of Babel was 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 uh, was, uh, was broken down in the first place, because this whole uh, unification of all these different nations, the Most High is not with it. Okay, he's not with it. The Most High in Deuteronomy 32 says he made all these different nations unique, different from one another. Okay, different from one another, and he has sent the bonds of the people, each and each and every nation to his own land. All right, that's what we end up happy ha having today. Okay, all nations coming back are uh, coming uh, into one into one. A cesspool of confusion. Okay, almost three and three can can two work together except they be agreed. All right. It says uh, Amos chapter four verse uh, eleven. It says uh, I have thrown us. It says uh, I have overthrown some of you, as the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And he, whereas a uh, fire burned plucked out of out of the uh, out of burning, yet it says yet have ye, he says yet have ye not returned unto me, saith the Lord. Out of all the signs that the Most have been doing these judgments, the Most have been raining upon Yasharal time and time and time and again. Still, okay, endured the word of the Lord for a while and kept going back to, to the old ways. Still have not returned unto Yahabah Shimasha. That's why the Lord says two thirds that must be cut off and die. And that's what's going to happen. That's going to be the solution. Okay, that's why the salvation is not going <clears> to. <throat> 
salvation that ultimately all Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation but the first go around okay the ones who are going to receive salvation are the elect of the Lord okay the elect these are the same ones who are not going to turn back okay who are not going to rebel against Yahweh Hashimasha these are the ones who want to make an oath even unto their own head and, and they're not going to turn back these are the same ones who are going to be saved okay because the rest they've been blinded they keep on revol uh, been, keep on revolting more and more every single time at every single opportunity they keep on rebelling against Yahapa Shinasha. So how you, how can you possibly think the most that's gonna save all the nation all, all of Israel? It's not gonna happen. How can that happen when the rest have been blinded? Okay, it's not gonna it's not gonna happen like that. Let's get that in Romans. Well, let's get Matthew uh, 13 and uh, 7, I believe. Uh, let's get uh, Matthew. Uh, let's get this in Matthew. Alright. Now, before I go to Matthew, let's, let me finish up with Amos 5 and uh, Amos 5 and 24 says, says that it says, but let judgment run down as waters and righteousness run down as says, but Amos chapter 5. Versailles 24 says, <clears throat> says, but let the judgment run down its waters and righteousness is a mighty as a 